What is the very first thing that you see? I, I do see um, something from the ocean. Would you like to describe it? I see a shelf. So I see a shelf. A white shelf. It's on the ground in the ocean. It's beautiful. So you are under the water? Mm hmm. Okay. Want to collect it and want to show and want to see it on the air. I think I swim there and, and see it right now. Mm. I see. It's like a. It's quite a big shell. Not a small, so I'm, I'm quite small. I don't know if I can carry that. Have a look at your body. How does it look like? I think I'm a girl. What mm. color is your hair? Brown. So you are wondering if you can carry the shell? If I can uh, just dive down and um, bring it up. Because it's very deep, I, I don't know if I can manage to dive down and bring it up. But it's beautiful, so I'm just watching it. And I'm just watching it and the sun is there and it's a reflection of the shelf which I watch. I think uh, sometimes, sometimes you don't really need to pick it up. Sometimes the beauty is there right now. It's for the ocean. You don't need to have everything. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This is what comes up mm. as you're watching the cell. Yeah, respect. Mm. That's a beautiful feeling, isn't it? Yeah. So you decide to not take it away? No. Mm -hmm. It's a hidden place in the ocean and I just want to leave it there. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Is there anything else you would like to share about what you are experiencing? No, it's just a beautiful place there. Mm. I think it's in Hawaii or somewhere. I see. What do you see outside? How does the landscape look like? Like palms and nice ocean and not so many people. I don't, it's a hidden place. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so mm. what happens next? Nothing. I think it's a, it's a sacred place and I just want to leave it like it is. I don't want to show it anybody. Not yeah, anything. there is uh, an energy going in and out. So there's a door. I feel something um, like a door. I don't know, like maybe a hole. Coming in and out, it's so special, don't want to tell anybody. So you are able to feel this energy? I just see it, I'm not going in. Is it in front of you? Mm hmm. And how does it look like? Like yellow streams going in that hole and it's, it's kind of magical. There is an exchange uh, of something, but I don't know what. I have the feeling I don't want to go in this hole and just observing. So this portal is in the water? Yeah. And mm. is the energy... Waves are of energetic waves that are coming and going. Are they going uh, horizontally or vertically? It's going like in a circle. Like a vortex? Yeah. It's a vortex there. I see. Yeah. And you are able to see, to see it with your naked eye and sense it? Yeah. Strong. The option is to go over and to come back, but I'm, I'm not ready. Do you feel that you can do this if you want to? I think the invitation is there, mm. or the call is there, but mm. I kind of not going a bit afraid maybe mm. it's, it's it's pulling totally mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no a bit nervous i understand but i'm here with you so there's nothing you need to worry about mm. just describe me what happens 
Yeah, I could go over. It's a, it's a really pulling. Mm -hmm. The energy is pulling. It's uh, almost, you cannot <laughs> almost escape anymore. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if I go through the door or not. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to you, but I'm here with you. Mm. And there's nothing you need to be afraid of. I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. I see more streams, so it's not just this energy. There are more... It's not just one vortex. There are uh, more than one. Okay. So more holes and... Mm -hmm. Maybe... So if you go one... There are two, three more, kind of. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going now. Okay, so just describe me what is, what you're experiencing, what happens. So you allow yourself to get in this vortex? Mm-hmm. Are you going there with your body or just energetically? Maybe just energetically. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, very good. And, and what happens as you're being pulled in? I think that at the moment is... Um, it's more dark and stars, but there are also two different people or something. Not people, not from us here. Beings. Beings. Mm. There. I don't see faces yet. But you feel the presence of two different beings? Yeah. Do these beings have any kind of appearance? I just see the form. The form is a long head, and I think it's a female and male, and they are actually really become me. They are what? Becoming me. Welcoming you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any connection with these beings? Yeah. I think they want to give me something. Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what they want to give to you. I'm not so sure. They have just the arms like this. They want to. Uh huh. Okay. So let's see what, what, how this thing unfolds then. No, it bring me actually to somewhere to, to a lighter place. They bring you somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Are you there now already? Yeah. It's very. It's not dark anymore. It's. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels like not on, on planet Earth, it feels somewhere else. Okay. How does this place look like? Very modern, but not full of people. It's like very, a lot of light there. It feels like under a big a ship or something, like um, which is flying, you know what I mean? What mm. means like a... Mm. Uh, it's not huge, it's just... A, something light, some, a lot of light, it's mm -hmm. there and white and I cannot uh, see plants or something. Mm -hmm. Are these beings still with you? These two people, yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. What is your connection to them? No, they just uh, will come me mm -hmm. and they just show me that they are there. They are with me, friendly. Sensitive. I think they want to let me know that they are there. And I know. I know there are more <laughs> beings outside. So I respect it. I feel like I'm a visitor of another species. And they want to just let me know that they see us. They observe us. They are observing uh, earthlings? Yeah. But they help also. They want to help. They want to help? Yeah. What do they want to help with and how do they do it? They want to give good energy. Mm. To humans? Yeah. And how they do this? They want to give me, I think, in form from energy. To you? No, uh, maybe to, uh, to other people as well, not just me. Mm. I just want to transform, like transform energy that the darkness is going out. It's yeah. not just me, I just want to 
help. They, I think they want to bring other people over there and give them all something. Mm. Whoever is open for this mm. and ready, mm. energetic. I think if you go on a special frequency, then you just can receive it. If you go higher frequencies, mm. they are there. And how do they give this energy to, to people? Over the arms, over the hands. Okay. Yeah, I see always the arms, the hands. Mm. Mm. We just need respect. How does it feel when this energy is coming inside your body? Good, it feels different. Fine, mm. fine energy, very mm. fine. And what is it doing as it's going inside your body? Where is it going? How is it moving? My heart. And it is like um, almost there is a, a red spot. And from this red spot, the energy going everywhere, like little facets, you know, like the capillars of the body, the facets, arteria, mm. vena, and capita, capilla, mm. it's going like, a, like really like little energy is, is, is going over everything. Okay. I actually feel it right now in the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. What is it doing now in the solar it's, plexus? It's, it's, it's coming in. It's coming in? Yeah. Through your solar plexus? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So I want you to allow this energy to come into your body and I want you to tell me what happens next as it's flowing in. It's flowing to the back of my spine, I mean to the and uterus, bladder, or the lower part of the body. How does it affect the body as it is flowing through? It's good. Mm. Don't feel it right now uh, in the upper body, it's just the lower part at the moment. Does it have healing abilities? Yeah, that's, I don't know. They're not finished yet. <laughs> mm. It's okay, we have plenty of time. Do you feel like someone is directing this energy or it has its own consciousness? The, these two persons or well, two beings mm. giving this and mm. it's like they want to change the energy to bring it back to the earth and change there something. I don't really know if it uh, brings healing but it brings light and I kind of have the feeling they want to they, do, they want to do it with with some people, as I say, with, with have a higher frequency to change on certain spots around the globe something. So this is something they are doing right now? Yeah. Certain individuals on Earth? Yes, I have the feeling. Mm. May I speak with them directly? Can I ask them a few questions? And, 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 mm -hmm. um, and could you just listen all to what they say and or allow them to speak through you mm -hmm. okay very good so i would like to kindly ask if i i have permission to to speak to you um that you are now um close to greed yes thank you very much for this opportunity and thank you very much for coming through and connecting with us today may I ask what is the purpose of this encounter rescue could you please elaborate on that a rescue of people so you are rescuing people you are helping people yeah mm, how do you do that to change the energy are you connected with these individuals that you are helping yeah. In what way? Through the energy. Okay, so you are connected with greed? Yeah. Mm, what is your connection with her? Is it something that she would she needs to know today? That's something that you would like to reveal to her? 
She will find other people with the same. With the same connection? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything you could tell us about yourself? Um, where do you come from? Or anything, anything you might wish to share with us? We, we are very close to the earth. We are not far away. We are a door away. You just need to, you just need to go through the door. Then we are there. What's your relationship to Earth then? We are helping. Yeah. You think that her, Earth um, humans need help at this time? Yeah. And you are helping great today, is that correct? Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Just changing the energy form, giving another energy form in her body. And she appears different. And this can light up other people or encourage other people also to change something mm. or to go this way. Other people will recognize this. Will recognize her, that her frequency has changed? Mm hmm Okay. So you, you, you're saying, if I'm understanding the, you correctly, that... The vibration goes up. The vibration goes up, mm. and this is something that uh, other people are sometimes are even able to sense. Yeah. And they get in, and they, they, it's like um, it triggers them that they want... That they want to go also on a higher vibration. Mm, mm, mm. I see. So you, in a way, you upgraded her today. You, you, yeah. you moved up her frequency higher. Yeah, it was time. I'm really grateful that you were able to uh, take this uh, chance that is so open today to do this. Is there anything she needs to know about, about all this? Everything will come in order. Are you connected with her genetically? Are you her, her soul, her like star family or something? No. No, okay. But you are just helping her and people like her. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose Great to do this? And she was just ready. Mm, okay. Mm. And you are able to sense that? We see it. And you have to be brave to go through the door. So it's good that I push her a little bit? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I felt <laughs> intuitively that it was something that she needed to experience. I have um, I have one more question. Before we start the, the session, when we were chatting, I felt a very strong energy in the room. I wonder if that was your presence or something else. Yes. That was you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, interesting. That makes total sense because the energy I felt was otherworldly, I have to say. It was a very strange... Um, frequency which I don't often encounter. We are here already. We are here already. Everywhere. Is there perhaps a, a name that you introduce yourself to as a race? Not now. Not now, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> we can, but we just can call and we are here. So should Grit uh, stay in contact with you somehow? Yeah, she is already. She, was she aware of it consciously that she was in contact with you? Yeah. I see, okay. So she knows how to, she knows your frequency and she knows how to call you in and how to connect with mm. you. Wonderful. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us today? More people need to come through the store. And how, how can people find this portal, this gate, to come to you? It will come up here. What do you mean, come up here? People will see it more, more and more. It will come up. It will come up, you mean, in their awareness? Yeah. It's already in process. Mm -hmm. It's okay. not the first time. Thank you very much for this encounter. Thank you very much for this connection, this transmission also. If there's any last message that you wish to share, please go ahead. Need to respect the nature. Otherwise, we can be lost. Yes, I understand that this is extremely important for our world. And I will 
do my best to get the word out mm. and sensitize as many people as possible. I want to thank you for your presence and for your willingness to come through and communicate with us in this way. And so I would like to ask you now to disconnect from great consciousness and at this moment I would like to ask if I have permission to connect to her to her higher self yeah do I have permission to ask a few questions yeah well, thank you I know that um, you you could have brought forth many different lives for great to see today and you indeed chose to uh, take us through a diverse experience everything is there everything is in us everything is there everything what we're missing is actually there when you say there what do you mean it's here inside it's inside her just need to open up for this Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what she's doing right now right so she can feel this depth and this wisdom and this connection and this this beauty this being fulfilled yeah mm, and being herself fully no yeah can you talk a little bit about the, the experience we just had with these uh, beings that um, offered this uh, transmission of energy where mm. her now as I understand her frequency has uh, gone up can you talk a little bit about that it's uh, still in process needs a bit time how long is it gonna take until it's complete cannot say any that's a moment okay so it's an in, it's a broken progress yeah it's still flowing yeah yeah I can understand that I guess it's a lot of energy and it's we don't want to overwhelm the body right mm. okay it will change even the DNA uh-huh is it possible that the uh, strand was activated yeah okay wow it changed the DNA mm. what do you mean we all have DNA and that can change in a positive way that sickness can go out or, or negative cells can escape or are not there anymore so if something is sick in the body, it can be healed. Does this mean that uh, this energy was able to remove certain uh, imbalances that were in her body? Yeah. I see. Okay, so because she had several things that she wanted to address today. Mm -hmm. For example, one was her shoulder. Mm -hmm. So how is this area now? This is still not healed. It needs a bit of time. At the moment, it's the solar plexus and the lower part. Okay, so you mean that's what is being worked? Yes, with? yes. Mm. So what was going on in her solar plexus uh, that needed to be... Was blocked. Block, well, brought into balance, I see, okay. Mm. Was she aware of it? Yeah. Mm, okay, wonderful. So that's being now worked out? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Uh, what about the polyps? Are this being dealt with or is this something that uh, will happen in the future? Future. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is this part of the, the DNA activation? Is it going to happen in time or is it something that um, needs to be done additionally? It will happen in this time, yeah. I see, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of time? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. She needs to open up for this. How can she do that? Just to call this energy to heal. How often should she do this? Two times a day. Mm -hmm, okay. And should she be in a relaxed, open yeah. space, re receptive like she is now? Yeah. How long should she do it every time? 15 minutes. Mm, okay, okay, beautiful. And for how long? Do it every day, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's a whole body, for the whole body. But she will do it. It's, it's 
part of the life. Okay, so I have a few questions about her. Um, what about her um, her situation right now? She's currently in the Cayman Islands. Should she stay there? Is it maybe better to move somewhere else? It will come up. She will feel it when the time is yeah, right to move. Yeah, the will signs know. will be there. The signs will be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Should she do another any other training? Yes. Mm. What would be the most appropriate for her? Spiritual. I see. So not a an ICU nurse. No. Mm. So spiritual. She was talking about QHC. Would that be something that yeah. uh, would be good for her? Wonderful. Why why QHC? It will thing? open up more mm. more trainings. It's, it's a one part. I see. Wonderful. Okay. I have the feeling that Dolores is close. I don't know why. Um, is that the case? Yes. Does she need to to say something? She's happy. She's happy. Is there anything else perhaps she would like to share with us today since she graces us with her presence? She wants to bring more light, lightness. There should be more lightness here. I mean, not here, I mean on earth. There's so much pressure. Yeah. She wants to uh, bring more lightness here and the pressure needs to go away. Mm. Yeah, that's a beautiful advice and um, I hope this is the case, this will be the case and I hope more people can feel more light because there's so much pressure at the moment. Hmm. You just need to focus on the lightness, not on the pressure. Okay, yeah. Just focus on another energy, just don't give the pressure and the darkness words or, or energy or look in the media or something. Mm. No, no, no. Mm. Just go in a meditative state and bring lightness in and focus on, on light things. Mm. Everything what makes you happy. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this wonderful advice and reminder. It's very important. I, I know it. I want to thank you very much for, for being present and being with us, being close and helping you're welcome okay wonderful so I would like to bring in again great higher self and and ask another question uh, from that is um, that uh, is in her mind and she would like to to have the higher perspective and that would be regarding the vaccination no okay what about the Canadian um uh, version of it? No. Okay, good. So she doesn't need it? Mm. Okay. Is there anything else you want to share on this subject? or Nobody needs it. Nobody needs it. Okay, so it's very clear what she needs to do and what to not do for her. Yeah, just higher vibration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nature knows what it does, right? God knows what it does. Not uh, and really um, block negative people, negativity. Mm. The the ones who are buying into fear. Also in in your own environment, if you have negative thinking people, not to go into that anymore. What would you do if you have a loved one that is into fear, like um, in the family? Not to go into the topic at all, mm, just mm. raise the energy. Not allow them to influence us? Yes. No, it's not the time anymore. Okay, okay. So she has to focus on her light and on her path and on her humanity to move on. What about the encounter she had with this man that she 
fall in love with? Is that over? Is this finished story? Yeah, the, they are on the f- same frequencies from the... He is also on an energetic higher frequency. So there could be an encounter on a, on a different level. What do you mean, not physical? Yeah. Okay. So, but from the um, how the story unfolded, at least in the physical, co- that caused great a certain amount of trauma and discomfort. Did she heal her part? Yeah. Okay. So there is no um, suppressed negative emotions from that experience. No. Nothing. Mm-mm. Nothing that would influence her in a negative way. Mm-mm. Okay. So she's done. She's clear with that. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. How can she now open up then to a new relationship? When the energy work is done. Okay, so this transmission activation what has um, started is going to uh, open up also that area? Mm-hmm. Okay. And as you say that now, I'm reminded that the first area where this energy started pouring in was the heart. Mm-hmm. So what, uh, what would um, assist her with um, depression? It's done. Okay. So all these uh, negative low energies are away, are out. Yeah. Oh my God, that's incredible. I'm so happy about that. I think she's really going to appreciate all this. Mm-hmm. Wow. And this will, as I'm thinking now, it will help her even more to uh, believe in this work and become a QHST practitioner. Yeah. Amazing. So she should quit her job? Mm, not at the moment. Not at the moment, Mm-mm. okay. Okay, so she it will come. slowly, step by step, mm-hmm. she's going to make the switch. Eh? Mm-hmm. Okay, fantastic. It would help her to lose a bit of weight. This energy. Okay, so it was there was some kind of block? Yeah. Okay, is there any special diet, diet that she could follow to assist this? new body no sugar no sugar mm-hmm. okay sugar is poison isn't it mm-hmm. okay so the gallbladder is uh, going to be worked out mm-hmm. okay wonderful what about her eyesight it will improve next year and uh, in the right shoulder also next year mm-hmm. okay is it important for her to know the reason why she had this discomfort in her shoulder? Yeah, it's a blockage. What was it that was out of balance? The right heart. We have a left heart and a right heart. We have two hearts. You mean uh, energetically? Yeah, the right spiritual heart. Oh, like the brain. There is also left and right mm-hmm. heart. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. I had never heard about that in the, before. So what was um, what was it again? Like a blockage. What did what caused this blockage? This man. Mm, I thought so. I just wanted to <laughs> double check. <laughs> okay, good. Now I wanted to ask you about the relationship to her sister. Is there anything she could do to improve this? Be kind and understandable. It will also change. The relationship will change. How is this going to happen? Probably also through the energy. She might be, the sister might be, get the same. Might be get also through the door. Mm. Mm. When she contacted me for this session, what did you hope that she would receive from this session the most? That she goes through the door. Mm. Okay, I get goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. At that moment when she was... In front of it, I could feel that she really needs to get in and didn't want to be too pushy, but I knew that she needs to to have that experience. Mm. Thank you for everything. Thank you for orchestrating and and, uh, allowing for this to happen for her. Mm. Thank you. I think it was very, very important. Is there anything you want to add on, on this? Not to worry too much. Okay, so she was worried a bit too much? Yeah. So she's been good, uh, taken care of? Yeah. And and protected? Mm Mm-hmm. 
Are you always connected to her? Yeah. So would it benefit her to know that you are always connected to her? Yeah. So how can she stay connected and receive this inner guidance, be connected to that inner wisdom in her day-to-day -day life? Trust. Trust and meditate. So quiet mm. the mind and, and then trust what, what comes, mm -hmm. comes through. Like what she's doing now. Mm -hmm. And it's like a muscle, isn't it? And the more she trusts, then the easier this becomes. And then it becomes like second nature. It's like, and then eventually she can embody this higher wisdom. She can eh? mm -hmm. embody that higher self aspect that we are referring to. I would like to ask you if we can, if it, first of all, you think it's important and necessary and uh, needed to make a body scan throughout her whole body mm -hmm. and see if there's anything um, perhaps we could assist her today if there are any I would like to focus on the negative emotions and and I would like to ask if we can make a scan throughout her whole body mm -hmm. and see if there are any suppressed negative emotions yeah she needs to speak up express not be afraid mm -hmm. to speak up yeah could you check her throat chakra mm -hmm. it's blocked mm, okay could we work on that mm -hmm. could you please boost it bring it back into balance mm -hmm. is she allowing you is it working might be need a little time. Okay, okay. Wonderful. Might be not done. In yeah, I understand that. Mm. Um, so please continue working on her um, mm. as much as needed. And I know you usually work during the night when people's conscious mind is out of the way. Mm -hmm. so you cannot interfere with the healing. So you have full permission to continue working on her as needed mm -hmm. how often do you suggest her to listen to the session recording to get the most benefit two times a week okay for how long four months four months wow okay does she need to listen to the whole session or the only the part with the of the higher self the part with the other beings. The other beings from there on, yes. Okay, yeah, okay, wonderful. Can you tell her why listening to it is so important? That's, that uh, energy is flowing. Mm. So that uh, connection is done. Wow, mm. so every time she listens, it is establishing... The memory will be act activated. Wow, okay. So more healing will occur? Mm-hmm. Very good. <clears throat> Is there anything else that you wish that she would have asked today? Mm. So she, she received everything that she needed? Yeah. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Very good. I would like to express my gratitude for this connection, for the healing that came through for her. Thank you. Thank you.